state-of-the-art facility that's turning Orlando's food waste into clean energy. Channel 9's Danage Broom is here to explain now how it all works. Well, basically, they'll be taking scraps you might leave on your plate, possibly even a pineapple top like this and some other things I won't pick up for you. And then behind me at the plant here, they will be able to convert that into power and even fertilizer that they will then be able to see, sell. Now, let's go ahead and show you the video that we did get on our tour a little bit earlier. What you are seeing are about eight tons worth of that organic material being dumped into the first phase of the process here at the Harvest Power plant. They get about five trucks like these each day at this point and Disney is also partnering with this. Now they did some composting in the past with their waste but this is really taking it a step further. So basically at all Disney hotels, restaurants, parks, they'll be separating their organic stuff from the trash and then sending it here to be converted into gas and ultimately into green energy. Now Reedy Creek is buying some of the power produced at the plant and there are a couple of reasons Harvest Power and Reedy Creek say this is a great idea. They they say it's the first plant like this in North America and it will take some of the strain off of landfills but some of that weight because some of that waste would be going here instead of to those landfills and even the heat that will be producing during this process is then used to dry out other parts and ultimately create fertilizer. The whole concept of this project is to waste nothing from the, or the organic residuals that we receive here. And this is an example of some of that fertilizer that would then be coming out of this. Now, we found out that Disney is not the only big name looking to sign on to this. We're getting a list of those names together for you, and we'll have that coming up for you tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. From our reporting live in Orange County, Tanesh Broom, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.